So here at the Wall Team, when we're serving our clients, helping them find their next home, one thing that we really take into consideration is not only just the home that they want, but also what their lifestyle is that they're looking for. So for example, you may have someone that wants to be close to shops and restaurants. That's what fit my wife and I and our family. We're big foodies, we like to go out to eat a lot. So it's really important when we bought our home that we live close to places where we can go out to eat for dinner and uh, enjoy a relaxing night on the patio. And other people need to be close to the airport for work. So lots of the communities around us, you know, you'll have a short commute to the airport. Uh, for those families with small kiddos, they may want daycares or uh, play centers or parks. Those are also things we like to advise our clients on where those things are located. It's not always just about what's inside the home. You may have a house with all the bells and whistles, but it may be located 30 minutes from the nearest grocery store and that may not, may, may not fit the lifestyle that you're looking for. Another thing that people want to take into consideration is whether or not to purchase a home in a homeowners association or without. Some people like to park RVs or be able to do what they want with their property and don't want someone telling them what they can and can't do. So those are things that we like to advise people that, hey, if a home is in a specific HOA that we know is very strict on their requirements, that may not be the right neighborhood for them. Or you do have somebody that really likes the security and uh, the oversight to make sure that all the neighbors are keeping their yards nice and that there's gonna be consistency within the neighborhood. So if you just make a list, you're not as apt to follow your emotion. You may walk into a house and fall in love with the granite countertops, but it doesn't check a lot of the lifestyle choices that you want. Well, that same granite can go in a house that maybe doesn't have the granite currently, but is in a neighborhood that you really want to live in that might offer you more of the amenities or the lifestyle that you're looking for. So making a list, sticking to that list will help you as you go through the process, just continue to stick to the things that you really find valuable and important to your home.